what you need to do is make sure that the patient is completely straight on the table. So right now, her hips are further back and her shoulders are further forward, so we need to straighten that out. So I'm going to slide your hips forward. I do not want you to help me. I'm just going to slide you a little bit like this. And then I'm going to reach in underneath your shoulder and I'm going to pull your shoulder back just a little bit. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is roll your hips back toward me. Very good. Now I've already collimated to 8 inches wide by 14 inches long. I'm going to find the ASIS right here. I'm going to follow that up to the highest part of the crest here. There's one part of the crest that is more superior than the rest. That's right where my finger is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the table to the right position. So move the anatomy to the light. Oh, my collimation. Oh, I pulled the bucky out so the collimation isn't correct. Let me fix that. Okay. 8 inches wide, 14 inches long. Central ray along the long axis here is centered at the highest part of the crest. That's directly over the spine. Now, she's rolling a little bit. I'm going to get those shoulders back. I'm going to place lead behind her. Not in so deep that it's going to be in the way. I just want to absorb any scattered photons. And I can take any lead and place it across like this. I'm going to just cover a little corner up here to show that I have shielded. Make sure that the hips and the shoulders are lateral. And we take the exposure on expiration. Right now I want you to take in a deep breath. Blow it all the way out. And hold your breath out, please. Okay, you can breathe now.